part of another letter to the same friend wherein is debated this question whether the doctrine of providence do derogate from prayer the godly exercise of prayer well agreeeth with the doctrine of providence and is confirmed and established thereby for whosoever beggeth at god's hand with an upright heart things necessary to salvation the same is verily persuaded that he forthwith receiveth them the contrary opinion shaketh and rooteth up our faith and confidence in god and suffereth us not steadfastly to believe the last article of the creed but prayer when it sueth for things on which salvation dependeth not patiently and humbly submitteth itself unto god's will not desiring to obtain any other thing than that which god in his secret counsel hath decreed best and most profitable for us nothing more slacketh our obedience in this point nothing more disturbeth our comfort and quiet of mind herein than that errant contingency whereby the academics and epicures bear the world in hand that the events of things are not governed and determined by god's divine counsel recall to mind that distinction of things to be prayed for often taught and daily repeated unto children by our countryman philip melanchthon and this whole controversy of prayer shall be cleared and put out of doubt herewith meeteth our opinion but the contrary opinion swerveth wholly from it so that truth well suiteth with truth but falsehood agreeeth neither with truth nor falsehood the sum of all is you must ground your confidence on god and crave all good things of him and be thankful unto him for the same no otherwise than as if all things proceeded from him without any your endeavour and yet must you perform your duty with as great diligence and industry as if you were able to procure and gain all things of yourself and by yourself without him whosoever directeth not the whole doctrine and disputation of providence and election unto this end he waxeth vain in his curiosity and entangleth himself in many snares which himself layeth for himself on whomsoever god hath decreed to heap his blessings to them he hath appointed the spirit of prayer if then he hath given thee a desire to pray assure thyself this gift is not in vain but thou shalt always be heard according to god's own promise this is the consequent thou oughtest to deduce and gather on good ground and infallible conclusion out of the precedent benefit seest thou then the contrary of this thy fear for nothing less impeacheth nothing more confirmeth the desire custom and consolation of prayer than the doctrine of providence i much marvel that you yet still dream of the ghosts and spirits of particular men how often have you heard and read the contrary to be true howsoever the miserable sophists of our time groping in the thick darkness of their academical blockishness cavil hereat for without the doctrine of election and certainty of salvation the universality of promised grace which appertaineth to all the faithful and to them alone can neither stand or be maintained nor applied to the comfort and use of the godly how often hath it been reiterated unto you that you must judge of election a posteriori from the subsequent signs and effects it causeth for you must repute and judge yourself elected by that measure of faith which is required in the elect yea this is true and lively faith for a man to believe that he is elect unto eternal life for christ's sake search then and sift thine own conscience whether there be found in thee faith repentance and unfeigned desire of the grace and favour of god and then pronounce thyself one of god's elect all curious disputations set aside i protest before god that i see not by what means i could have stood steadfast in many my private grievances had i not held this one comfort impregnable no man shall take my sheep out of my hands etc what are all other comforts if this be not at hand with us that all things good and evil befall us not casually but by the eternal decree and purpose of god work for our salvation ninth june 1575 enjoyed this recording please support our channel by subscribing liking and sharing our content we would also be happy to receive any comments or feedback below